Hi, I'm Rachel Cook, and I'm so excited to have with me today not just a, a colleague, but a friend of mine, Sarah Vita from AXA. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you, Rachel. Glad to be here. Glad to have you. Uh, tell us a little bit about your role and your responsibilities at AXA. I've been with AXA just over one year now as head of sales support, and that includes the sales desk, which are the internal wholesalers taking mm -hmm. inbound calls and prospecting for life insurance opportunities. It also includes sales operations and my favorite, which is training, having just spent about the last decade as head of sales training for Prudential. Fantastic. Yes, yeah. I remember your days at Prudential, so it's nice to see you continue your your um, your journey, and uh, you're going to be spending some time here shortly in our leadership session, mm -hmm. sharing best practices about some of your programs. Can you offer a few insights about what you're going to be talking about? I would, um, well, rather than tell your members and other people at this mm -hmm. awesome conference, you know, how we do leadership training at AXA, I'm going to share with them a couple of activities that they can do with their employees anytime. Um, one of my favorite ones is the gratitude activity. And so we spend so much time on leadership styles and coaching and, you know, getting followership. But one of the biggest indicators of how well connected our teams are and how respected and liked our leaders are is how they show their gratitude for employees and their contributions and accomplishments. So I'll be passing out actual thank you cards and, ever, and challenging everyone to handwrite a thank you card. Hmm. Do you remember the last uh, handwritten note that you received? Actually, I do. It's from our son, my stepson, Logan Cook. He put it into my, my uh, bag before I was leaving for the conference earlier this week. Oh, so it nice. was from his school, and his school had uh, asked him, them to write thank you cards from time to time, letting them know to thank their parents for sending them to the school. So, so yes. So, but other than that, uh, probably maybe a year ago, I probably get thank you. I've actually, I think I've gotten a handwritten thank you card from you in the past. <laughs> <laughs> so it is memorable, but it's probably about a handful of them over the, the last decade or so. And that's the thing. People don't take the time to do this anymore. It's mm -hmm. so much easier to fire off an email. But that one of the indicators of real authentic leadership and gratitude and mm -hmm. gratefulness in general is if you take the time to, you know, it, it pull out a, a lot, pen right. and, you know, let alone have some fancy stationery to put it on. I, the people I know who have them, they have them plastered all over their office walls. It means that much. It's right. not something that you hit the delete button on. It's a nice touch. And it, it's simple, right? But we're not doing it. Not enough people are doing it. Mm -hmm. So I love it. It's great. What else is going on for you at AXA? What other big initiatives do you have coming up this year? Well, we're always focused on coaching mm -hmm. and coaching our leaders of people to inspire and empower their teams. We do that by hel helping them ask better questions. What I call hold the mirror to help employees see for themselves where they need to improve and grow rather mm -hmm. than just giving advice and telling them what to do. Right. So we're rolling out a nationwide train the trainer right now in our AXA advisors offices. Okay. Um, so because we have a small and nimble team, we can't train 5,000 or more financial professionals, but we can train the 250 or so managers of those folks. Mm -hmm. So we are trying out some new things like this train the trainer to empower them to roll the training out to their teams. And that's been fun. Sounds like it. And uh, what else, besides training, besides coaching, besides how all the work that you do in your organization, what other passions do you have? What other hobbies do you have? And I know there's a lot of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. where do I start? Uh, my husband, Tony, is a professional polo player. Mm -hmm. And so this winter, we gave the horses a bit of a vacation um, because he's off this season. And that's so it's been really fun to do some things around the farm. One of the things that I'm preparing for is a half Ironman race in April. Wow. So that's been, it's been fun to pick up some new sports and continue to be active. And you know, I also teach wellness mm -hmm. to our sales professionals and I believe so much in helping people perform without sacrificing their health and happiness. And I think a lot of us miss the mark there or aren't going after wellness as hard as we should be. But if our employees don't have the energy that they need to 
do well and mm -hmm. you know they're constantly going from one appointment to the next to the next especially in sales sure they they could be performing a lot better if they're eating sleeping and moving absolutely. more absolutely absolutely and you had recommended uh, the uh, the uh, performance athlete course a few mm -hmm. years ago and I went and completed that course and that was a great experience so yeah. I, I couldn't agree more the more that we can do little things big things to just focus on health yeah. we'll feel much better and be able to perform much better in and out of the workplace yeah one of the neat things we just did at our sales conference a couple of weeks ago was before every break in the meeting, mm -hmm. we had an energy break. And so I got up and shared a couple of tips on a specific topic. So one of the topics was sleep. And you know, before lunch, then we did eating or movement. And then before the afternoon break, we did another one. And it was neat to sprinkle them throughout the event just as a five minute reminder to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. It, of course, it's no replacement for doing an all-out program like Corporate Athlete or working with a really great performance coach, but it was a nice way to drip the value of energy throughout the day. And then we had we had packs with healthy snacks in them. We had a label reading activity. Great. Um, we used eye pillows as prizes for one of the activities. <laughs> sounds so like fun. It was fun. Oh, that's that's yeah. fantastic. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad as a member that you get to uh, also kind of see how the research is in action, meet other mm -hmm. other uh, member organizations and award winners. So congratulations on your awards and uh, all of your major accomplishments. Thank you so much for thank being you. here with me today and our team. Thank it means you. means a lot. See you at the Women's Leadership Summit. Yes, in June. I can't wait. <laughs> Me too. We'll have to do another episode on that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good.